What's going on right now? As you guys know, Kendall Jenner is in the headlines again, sparking controversy. You know about these culture vultures family, the Jenners and the Kardashians. So this is about a photo shoot she did for Vogue, and she was basically wearing an afro. And, you know, she, they're basically, I don't, the Jenners are definitely white. People always said the Kardashians are not white, they're Armenian or something, which is somewhere in, like, the Arab areas and all that stuff. Vogue apologizes for Kendall Jenner photo with Afro. We did not mean to offend. It's always something. You know, this is how she originally looked, like a white female. Vogue is admitted it may have been made a misstep. The magazine posted an image of model, reality star, Kendall Jenner to Instagram. Excuse me, Friday Dunning, voluminous tease curls, which some called out as cultural appropriation. In a statement to E! News, Vogue explained its inspiration for Jenner's hair came from looking at the past. The image is meant to be an update of the romantic Edwardian Gibson girl hair, which suits its the period feel of the Brock collection and also the big hair of the 60s and the, the early 70s that puffed out, teased out look on those errors, of those errors, excuse me. The statement reportedly read, we apologize if it came across different, differently than intended, and we certainly did not mean to offend anyone by it. USA Today has reached out to Vogue for comment. This is what she, uh, she looked like. And this is the tweet. Some Instagram users expressed disappointment in the magazine's choice in the comments of the image, while others came to his defense. Of course, they try to say turn white women into black women, one user wrote. They rather pretend we don't exist than give us credit. Ugh. Another user said we used to have our hair burned in chemicals because society taught us we were not beautiful with our afros. Now they copy our afros, but can't use actual black models with afros. She looks dumb. Leave afros to our beautiful black women, another directed. Others were less convinced the hairstyle was an attempt at an afro. I see a tease hair waiting to be behind. That's all a user wrote. All the anger about this is nonsense. Even if the intent was to be an afro, it's hell or not. Look at the, our black kinks and queens and Google what an afro looks like. Angry for nothing. I'm all for my people, but y'all are reaching. A person wrote, her hair is curled and teased. This does not look like an afro. <laughs> this isn't the first time Jenna has been embroiled in controversy. In 2017, Pepsi commercial star in general was pulled after critics found in to tone deaf. And the ad, Jenna joined a Black Lives Matter style march and gave a Pepsi to a cop outfit in riot gear. Jenna's older sister, Ken Kardashian West, has also been accused of cultural appropriation. Earlier this year, she attributed her blonde braids to Bull Derek, who wore the style in the 1979 film 10. The backlash didn't keep her from repeating the hairstyle at June MTV Awards. All right. You know, I really have few words for this because when it comes to this family, I know what they're all about. They got rich off their sister making a sex tape. And from then on, it's just been black freaking and messing with black dudes. The only person I think they didn't even have a black dude was Courtney Kardashian. After all, you know, Kylie went with Travis Scott, Tiger. I think Kendall was with Travis Scott too. So I think he had both sisters, or I might be mistaken. You know, Chloe, Lamar Odom, all these basketball players. You know, they all. Kim Kardashian, Ray J, Reggie Bush, Kanye West. I think Wiz Khalifa. I don't even know. Everybody been up in her. But, you know, when it comes to them, it's not shocking to me that they even did this. You know. The sad part is some black people will even defend this. I'm not defending it. I'm calling it for what it is. I don't care how much money they have or how much people prop them up. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video. 
And I'll talk to you in the next one. Don't forget my children, Bill Aiden and Amy in the Haunted Forest. Available on xlibrisamazon.com. Barnesandnoble.com, Google Play, and Apple Store.